Hello to all, I'm back with a new roadmap video. This one is about PrimeNG, our beloved UI component library for Angular. So uh, PrimeNG has been around since uh, 2016. We have been updating it for a long time now. And um, after every major Angular release, we are releasing a PrimeNG version that's compatible with it. And now we are re um, reaching a point where we need to introduce some a cool new stuff for Prime NG because the growth has been steady, but um, I think uh, with Prime NG 18, uh, it's now uh, for Prime NG to move to the next gen. So, what is the next gen UI Compute Library for Prime? It starts with Prime View um, version 4 and Prime React Reboot version 1 and the Prime NG 18. So, the, the next gen versions have unstyled modes and they can be styled with Tailwind. They have a new theming. Instead of SAS, they are moving to CSS variables. They provide tool, tooling support for Figma and a lot of things. The, some component names are changing and so on. So <clears throat> we've been around for since 2008. As Prime Tech, we've been developing UI component libraries and this, the part of the success has been about sustainability and keeping uh, the libraries up to date, modernized as, as much as possible so that we can stay relevant. You can create a UI component library, but it may be out of date in a year. So uh, I think the tough part is, uh, the toughest part is staying relevant. So, and these are huge code bases. I mean, more than 90 components, a lot of things, templates, blocks. So uh, we are uh, tuning it so that it will be harder, uh, it will be easier to maintain for us because we have a lot of things, a lot of things going on at Prime Tech, a lot of libraries. So Prime NG uh, is uh, one of the most popular projects of ours, gets uh, more than uh, 1 million, and, uh, 1.5 million, more than 1.5 million downloads per month. So, and many enterprises are using it. So we have to introduce these features, these changes without causing a, a lot of breaking changes. So, so it will be smooth to upgrade. Let's start right now. The team, what we have done so far, we have, uh, we have a brand new showcase, as you've seen, the work started last year. We have a brand new showcase, new, brand new design and a brand new documentation. If you compare it with the previous versions, uh, we have API docs and uh, the developer experience uh, has been great, greatly uh, enhanced. And now we are taking it to the next level. Uh, as you may know, PrimeView uh, has been our reference implementation. We first do it for PrimeView and then once it, the feature set gets mature, we just port it to Prime Rack and Prime uh, NG and much of it, uh, as much as we can to Prime Faces. So, uh, the unstyled mode is the key here. Uh, in unstyled mode, the component doesn't render the de default classes like dropdown doesn't have a p dropdown p dash dropdown class. And once that uh, class is not there, uh, you will be able to uh, provide style it the way you like it using the, your favorite CSS library. And Tailwind is a great fit because it's kind of unopinionated. You just there's no. Uh, I mean, Tailwind-based components are there, but Tailwind core is kind of, you can do freestyle with it. You can just decide on what you want to do with it. And with unstyled mode, we will introduce in PrimeNG 18. PrimeNG 18 is the most, uh, probably the most important release in the history of the project. It will introduce the developer preview of the unstyled mode and the pass-through. Pass-through is uh, the companion of the unstyled mode here, but the pass-through, you know, the, the traditional libraries, they just uh, encapsulate the behavior. They give you this reusable component, but they are someone else's component and you're kind of limited to what the, what you're, uh, access to it. The component library maintainer just provides you uh, the API, the props, the event, and you're just done with it. You, you're just kind of limited. So with uh, pass-through properties, we are just uh, exposing the component internals so that you'll be able to uh, add attributes, um, add events the way you like it. This has been done for Prime View and Prime React, and it's coming to Prime NG. And it's been a fan favorite feature so that you're not limited to uh, the component libraries, maintainers, uh, you can do whatever you want. And with the pass through, since you are able to pass classes, you will be able to pass tailed classes. So which means you will be able to uh, provide uh, 
the Tailwind start versions. So we have done this for Prime View, and these components are, you know, uh, they, they may look like regular uh, Prime components, but they are start with presets, so that these are all uh, Prime uh, components start with Tailwind. So we are actually providing two libraries, one with unstyled mode, with the regular uh, CSS approach, and the other is the Tailwind approach. And you will see that he, no one's doing something crazy like this, but uh, I think we have done it and it has been a success because in the, in, I mean, I've, we've been doing this for a long time and there's no single approach to this problem. Some users prefer uh, unstyled mode with Tailwind so that they can go freestyle and some prefer nice pre-built uh, components with nice styles. So they don't really care. They just want uh, some nice looking components. So uh, there's something for everyone. So th that's, I mean, we will not be able to provide it for all components, but in 18, we will be provided as a set, as a developer preview, so commonly made, made commonly used components like tabs, tables, and buttons and inputs. And then we will just extend it to other components as well. So we have to take an iterative approach here. And there will be new components. Some are already in for 17, like uh, we are uh, creating semantic components so that you won't be able to use, I mean, it will be not won't be the best practice using that for example in prime ng you are using p uh, float labels class or p icon field something that you have to use that class and you have to know about it uh, when implementing something um, some features but now we are wrapping the best components because as you know in unstyled mode those classes do not exist so we have to provide them as components and the tailwind team our tailwind team will be uh, able to implement the same thing without using this pre-built classes like p. There's no p dash class in unstart mode. So these apply to float label, icon field, and like there will be uh, new properties like uh, field uh, and invalid and things like that. And the layout and typography components are coming. And meter group is I think it's done already. And stepper, drawer, um, uh, app bar. Um, the and a couple of more and the, I think the what I'm waiting for from the team is the layout and typography and uh, since we are sunsetting the prime flex the replacement for styled mode with, will be the layout and typography components and on unstyled mode you can use tailwind or whatever library you you need for layout and typography for sure but for styled mode we are providing layout components so that uh, we can help you build your uh, layout with the grid and flags and so on and also the type of components will be integrated with the new theming so that uh, you can uh, probably you will do uh, what you can with um, uh, prime flex and now with components and these unlike uh, prime flex which was not the uh, most optimized version of what uh, what we've done uh, so uh, the type of components and layout will be uh, on demand so that uh, only the css you use will be included and the new start mode is the key. It's coming to Prime NG 18. Now we are finalizing it for Prime U4. And now it will be, um, we are moving away from SAS. There will be no SAS repo anymore because it was harder to maintain for us. Uh, you need to sync them. And now with uh, Prime NG 18, uh, we are migrating to a new theming engine and it will be based on CSS variables. And we are syncing them with our Figma UI kit and writing a plugin. To generate themes from Figma directly. Now, right now, I'm working with the design team so that even with the names, because we have to tune some things for Figma as well, and it's coming. And in uh, the future versions, we'll have the RTL mode, and the, uh, the we will also do advanced components. Now, Prime NG 18 is out. Uh, it will be spreadsheet. We have done it for Prime Faces. Uh, like Excel, like functionality, spreadsheet, like functionality, and event calendar, which will be like that full calendar widget. And we will provide Gantt chart, flow chart, HTML editor, and so on. And next year, probably we will tackle charts as well so that we can provide our own because, you know, we are a UI component library vendor. That's what the UI component library vendor does. It's not just avatars and buttons and autocompletes. We have to provide some uh, nice looking ad and advanced and very complex components for Prime Image as well. And probably we we want this code base to be shared between React and Vue and Faces, so we we are planning to make these advanced stuff as web components, and because we are also we will also start our web components project soon 
get some know-how there and move it to our uh, advanced stuff. So what we have is uh, regarding prime blocks, uh, we will have, uh, so right now we have blocks for Vue, React, Faces, we have four different code bases and we are unifying them and they're like, you, you know, you have to download it and run them, run it locally. It will be primeblocks.org. It will be like an online application. Uh, after one time payment, you will be able to log in and see all those blocks. We are providing 80 more. And I think the number is reaching to 500. And you will be able to uh, see uh, them as components, not like uh, HTML chunks. So we will provide them as components. And you will be able to choose the version like React, Vue, Angular, and JSF, and uh, standard HTML once we provide a, a prime UI web components project. So there will be five versions. And it will be easier for us. So one code base, and that's it, and easier to access. And Prime blocks are moving to Tailwind because PrimeFlex is, uh, as, as, as I mentioned, we are just uh, sunsetting uh, the project because of overlapping functionality. In unstart mode, we have Tailwind. In start mode, we have layout and typography. Unfortunately, there is no room for PrimeFlex anymore. So we are providing a migration path and we are also writing a tool which converts your uh, PrimeFlex to Tailwind or uh, PrimeFlex to layout and typography. And that's also available in the upcoming. Uh, it will be like an Angular schematics or uh, our own CLI tooling. The Aura is out for PrimeView. It's a nice looking theme. I mean, we have been using Lara for some time, but Aura will be the much better version uh, of um, our theming. So the Aura is coming and we don't need to wait for PrimeNG18. It will be available for PrimeNG17 as well as a SaaS version, and uh, we will just port it um, to the new theming as well. Uh, I mean, most of these are already done for Vue. We're just going to do porting. And our new theme editor, as you know, we have just uh, shut down. I personally shut down that designer. Sorry for that, but it was not very maintainable. And now we are going to, once the new theming is in, we are going to provide a single uh, theme editor that will help you generate Vue, Angular, and React versions from a single code base. So as I mentioned, all of our work is um, focused on uh, unifying the code bases uh, because we are just we have too much stuff to maintain, and we are just we are planning to make it easier. So to summarize, um, the new theme Aura, check out Prime View. That's coming. I think it's it will come in the next couple of weeks um, because the team will just port it. And the prime blocks are moving online and you will be able to choose whatever uh, framework you like. Figma is getting a huge update with the new design tokens. The most important part, I think, the three, uh, maybe let's say two, the unstyled mode and styled mode, there will be two versions of prime ng and the styled mode will be based on CSS variables and no more SAS. And the unstyled mode will be, will promote uh, uh, Tailwind uh, for, uh, and we will provide presets to get you started and there will be a new um, wave of components layout typography drawers steppers meter groups and many more uh, so stay tuned for that okay so many plans we, we believe in angular and with uh, with recent angular renaissance let's say uh, it made our jobs uh, developing ui components easier uh, still not super easy compared to um, React and Vue, but we, we are able to find our way. We have to write some directives, some our own stuff, which was already provided us from in other frameworks, libraries, but in Angular, we had to do it on our way, but no problem on our end. And so stay tuned for the next generation of Prime ANG starting with uh, 18. It's something cool is coming up, which I think the Angular community needs because Angular doesn't have a top-notch UI library. Even Prime NG17 is does the job, but uh, I think uh, the 18 will look like uh, much better. In, and compared to React and Vue, the number of and the quality of UI libraries are kind of, uh, there are not many options, let's say, because Angular has its own material, which I think doesn't encourage the open source members to develop UI libraries. Because why? Because there's a standard one already. Uh, you, you instantly become a third party. It's not very good, but uh, I think we are happy with it. And we'll, we'll see. We will challenge Angular material. Uh, that's the challenge. We, we, everyone needs a challenge, right? 
Okay, stay tuned and keep an eye on Prime Engine, guys. Thank you.